What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. We are headed down to Forest City, North Carolina right now. I'm headed to go pick up a cherry picker for the shop. I don't have anything currently to pick up heavy, heavy pieces uh, that I need to move like engines, transmissions, things like that. I can pick a transmission up by myself and carry it across the shop. Um, I mean, I'm a big guy, so it's not hard for me to do that, but I can't pick up an engine. I mean, even a bare blocks, you know, 600 pounds or so. So I need to be able to move this stuff around the shop, put it on an engine stand and not have to use my neighbor's forklift. So I'm headed to pick up a cherry picker. We are currently in the old Honda, sitting in traffic. We got the Nitrous Express gear on guys. And of course, we got our monster. Monster, if you guys want to sponsor me, that would be fantastic because I'm getting real tired of having to go through a case every week. And I don't mean a small case. I go through a big case. So, guys, stay tuned for this. We're going to try and squeeze this thing in the back seat of the Hunda here. I'm not... Uh, it's going to be close. It's going to be close. All right, guys, so we are loaded. We got our engine hoist right here in the back and the old Hunda. We got a little dolly to put some of my transmissions and stuff on so I can roll them around the shop. Make stuff a little easier to move. Tomorrow morning we will go, we will assemble this pile of boxes back here. We'll get everything ready to go so we can use it in the shop and try and pull the motor out of the shorty first thing in the morning. All right guys, so today we are back in the shop. We have our engine hoist sitting right here. I gotta get this thing put together. As soon as I get this thing put together, we're gonna get the engine out of the shorty here. We're gonna get it over here on our engine stand and go ahead and start getting it apart, disassembled and ready for a rebuild to go into Heartbreaker. So Heartbreaker's engine can go into this truck right yes, here. We are back in the shop. We finally got our engine hoist cherry picker over here. We got it set up. Uh, I actually went to Harbor Freight of all places and was able to snag. This is actually a safety chain for a trailer. So I got it because it's got these clips, these hooks with clips on the end and you can just run it through the eyelet on the 60 power stroke where it has the eyelets to lift your engine out. So what I'm gonna do is <clears throat> get this chain set up on the cherry picker, get it to where we can get this engine out of here and get it set up on the engine stand I actually have my GoPro finally charged with my head strap on. So what I'm gonna do is get it put on, get it going, and video this kind of kind of the process of getting this engine out so you guys can kind of see what's what's entailed in it and uh, you know what we gotta do to get it out. Just so real quick, right here is gonna be where your AC compressor is gonna be. You can see the plugs there. Right there are gonna be the four bolts. I don't know if you can see those back two. There's one there and then one on the bottom. But these are your front two. You're gonna wanna take those out to get your engine out. But you want to take this AC compressor off. Whether you're doing this with just pulling your front clip or whether you're actually just taking the cab off or whatever, take the, take the AC compressor off first. It's gonna make it a whole lot easier. And same thing over here. You're gonna take your power steering pump off. You're gonna lay it out of the way. And then right here are your bolts. <clears throat> for your motor mounts, you're gonna take out, there's four of them, two in the front, two in the back. You can get the two in the back from the bottom. You can get the two in the front, obviously, from up front. And then this thing comes right out. All right, guys, so once you get your bottom bolts out, you can come back up here. I say bottom bolts. Once you get your back bolts out from the bottom, you can come up here. Get your front bolts out. And then this thing will come right out. I'm not gonna bore you guys with this. I'm gonna get these out and then we'll video the process so coming out. We've got our bolts out on the motor mount on both sides. So we should be able to lift up. We got movement. Keep in mind guys, like I said, this push rod here is holding the tension on the back side of this chain to try and level out this engine so that when we pull this bad boy out of here it should come here she goes She's starting to move well 
our push rod fell out, guys. But we got some fluids leaking. No big deal. All right, so our engine is lifting straight up, guys. So we're just going to keep this thing coming right on out. Make sure you guys have everything unhooked, your engine harness. You always, on the way up, you want to make sure you don't have any kind of intrusions. I've got some old CCV hoses here that I have tried to keep out of the way. And come over and check this side. Make sure all this stuff is just engine harness stuff that is not connected anymore. Make sure your ground on the back of the head is no longer connected to the body. Yeah, we're breaking our little plastic shroud there. It's brittle anyway. So, and then like I said, guys, this is the engine harness. So we got this puppy coming out. We're going to move out just a fuzz. And we're dropping some coolant. No big deal. So we're going to keep coming up. Come out just a little more. We're hanging on something down here. I'm not quite sure what it is yet. Engine's totally free, so maybe we just need to keep coming up with it. Stuck, guys let me figure out what's going on and we'll get back okay guys we're back so this little stud right here has a clip for transmission lines and that's what was holding me up I couldn't find it couldn't see it it's not on heartbreaker and I totally forgot about it so now that we've made a whole freaking mess and a shop floor and screwed around with it for another 20 minutes trying to get it out it's free so should be able to pull this thing straight out the front. Just like so. And what we're going to do for now, so it's not suspended all the way up in the air, I'm going to drop this thing down. Get it real close to the floor. I'm going to back up the cherry picker a little ways. And I'll uh, take and stick this up and underneath here. Just let it kind of sit there. The cherry picker's still holding most of the weight of this thing, but it's at least sitting on the floor somewhat. There you go, guys. You got an empty engine bay. So like I said, Here's your four bolts, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Take the front, these front two out from the front. Take the back two from the bottom. It'll come right out. Now, you do have to be careful back here on the back edge of this mount. Look, I cut my hand, guys. Uh, back edge of this mount, you have to be careful because where your upper oil pan widens right here, it will hang on those motor mounts. So you gotta be super careful getting this thing out of here. Otherwise it gets bound up. You end up being in a, a real cluster trying to get it out. But we've got the shorty as a roller chassis now. So it's time to doll this motor up, get it on an engine stand, get it dolled up, and then we'll stick it in the race truck. All right guys, that's it for this video. Um, I wanted to get the engine on the engine stand, but I didn't get long enough bolts. I tried to, but they didn't have them in stock. So I'm gonna have to hit up a couple hardware stores tomorrow, but the engine is out of the shorty. We're gonna start getting it torn apart in the next couple videos. And I'll show you guys how to build an engine for a race truck, uh, show you exactly what kind of parts I'm using. I'll go through the entire build list. So 
that everybody doesn't feel left out or anything like that. You'll know exactly what's in the truck. So if you want to duplicate it, you can duplicate it. Um, thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I'm going to try and uh, get you guys a little more content flowing through here. I seem to be uh, having a little more time after work nowadays, and uh, things are moving in the right direction for us to get some more content out and uh, show you guys a little bit of what my life's like as far as building these trucks goes. Um, thank you guys for watching. Please be safe, and God bless y'all.